This game is T and is not suitable for kids. Hey there, buddy! All right, this should be the this next one should be the last Colossus. And I'm guessing the Emerald's the final boss or Dornum. The final boss is the girlfriend you resurrect. That would be a twist. <laughs> yes, the last Colossus. Oh yeah, it's 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 the guy who was riding in on on his horse, right? Final boss is aggro. Okay, you didn't tell me where it was though. Maybe it's just on the whole map because it's just so big. The true final boss is aggro, who's sick of you mistreating him for the whole game. <laughs> Final boss is gonna be nothing to sneeze <laughs> to sneeze at. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's south. The last time there was a boss to the south was like the first boss. The true final boss is the friends we made along the way. The true final boss are the people in chat who don't speak English. Not saying that to be mean. It's just it's just a joke, folks. Okay. So if we go down, oh oh, okay. It it's telling us to go that way, but no, we're taking the we're taking the side tour. We're going down that little passage over here, and we're definitely doubling around to the very bottom of the map. It's like, no, the final boss is right next to where you fought the first boss. I, <laughs> that would be, I mean, that would be interesting, but it would be kind of dumb. Plus, there's a big wide open area at the very bottom of the map, so that's where we're going next. Aggro morphs into a giant colossus. The final boss is the controller and the camera. Do 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 Oh, if you want to get the true ending, you need to kill all eight thousand nine hundred and twenty-six chameleon or like lizards that are on the map. No, I won't do it. Oh no! How could you, Proxima? <laughs> I guess we don't even bother continuing the game now, right? Mobius, well, the idea of entering a fantasy world sounds cool until you realize that they didn't have heating, air conditioning, comfortable beds, proper medical care, uh, proper bathing abilities. <laughs> the peak of humanity was being able to ride on horses. No modern inconveniences at all. The city's okay for a visit, but you couldn't make me live there. <laughs> I'm not really sure what just happened there for Agra, but... I've ridden a horse when I was young, but that was a long time ago. I want to live in a fantasy world where I could where I could ride around on a giant cat.
Okay, so there's some guys that are moving towards us through this bridge at the bottom of the map. So how about we go out and meet him? Hi! I don't have a name, but this is my horse, Aggro. The Mystic Portal awaits. <laughs> Aggro's like, you did that on purpose! Really? <laughs> I'm sorry, Agro. I thought that that's where we had to go, but I guess not. Ah! You did this on purpose! <laughs> Agro, if you could kindly... Uh, <laughs> Skyrim horse! It's a Skyrim horse! <laughs> that was normal. That's not the right way to go. That's not the right way to go. Where is the right way to go? Stop telling me which is the wrong way. I want to know where the right way is. It's telling us the right way is through these gates. Okay. Maybe we're, we shouldn't be riding aggro when we go here. Aha! Alright, Aggro. You up for one last ride, boy? Yeah. Okay! Yeah. I want a mod for this game where it replaces aggro with Donkey from Shrek. Complete with Eddie Murphy's voice acting. That way, if aggro's being annoying, it's actually just Donkey trolling you. Oh hey, this looks familiar. This looks like the first boss that we fought. What? Why did you not grab on, you lunkhead? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? You you can't grab on to that? You can grab on to litter Oh thank goodness we prayed at the shrine first. <laughs> Shrek can't ride donkey. No, it replaces every one of the colossi with just a different... <laughs> a different Shrek amalgamation. <laughs> it's the ultimate mod. Okay, I have no idea why you didn't grab onto that, but... I guess they're like, no, you go around. You know, the gorge seems pretty big. Oh no, I don't I don't trust this at all. No, I don't trust that at all. That's one of those platforms where it looks like you can go on it, but then he just refuses to move on it and slides down. Aggro? You were able to get over here? Alright. Aggro, perhaps you can jump the gorge. Alright, Aggro, now you need to jump the gorge. <laughs> so slow, but then, like, the game was like, oh, wait, Agro should be going fast to make it over his jump, and then sped him up. He kind of sort of made it on, then just clipped through the feet and fell to his death. <laughs> I didn't feel bad for Agro. 
<laughs> he should have jumped the. He should have jumped the guard. It was his fault for clipping into the stone. Wow, that was. I think that was a Skyrim horse mo a Skyrim horse moment right there. Okay, aggro spawn up here, please. We're gonna have to get more of a running start with aggro to get through there. Because wouldn't you know it, aggro needs like a mile stretch to actually get up to proper speed before he can do anything. Aggro! Yes. <laughs> you're not gonna be a dumb horse this time, right? Yeah. Aggro, when I say move, you move. If I say run, you run. If I say stop, you stop. If I decide you will live, you will live. If I decide it, that you should not live, then you shall die. I didn't want to quote Slagar the Cruel, but you know what, Aggro? <laughs> Maybe it's fitting. Okay, Aggro, we get this nice, long lead-up. Oh my gosh, Aggro, are you freaking kidding me? Are you serious? Move! Move! You're a freaking horse! Aggro, run! Aggro, run! Oh no! Aggro actually canonically dies here. Oh shoot. That was his fault for not going fast enough. Aggro, if I didn't have to push triangle 20 times. Okay, that actually was a little sad. Aggro, your sacrifice will not be forgotten. Alright. Is that why he clipped through the thing earlier? Because it was trying to load his death scene, but, like, it was too early? Also, we can't get back now. We're trapped here. That's okay, guys. All we gotta do is quick warp him here, and we'll be good. I'm getting to think that this is why people like Aggro. And why people got a little upset that I was insulting him all the time. Well, stuff happens in life. You, sometimes stuff happens and there's nothing you can do about it, no matter how hard you try. Uh, no, I did not. Why, does a horse die at the end? If it's a movie about animals, there's a pretty good chance I'm not going to like it. Because unless it's like one of those Disney animal movies, like 101 Dalmatians, the, the animal is probably going to die at the end. Because everybody's trying to be Old Yeller. They're like, Old Yeller was great because they made people feel stuff. It's like, yeah, they kill a dog at the end. You're going to make people feel stuff. That doesn't mean it's good. Oh my gosh, I remember Old Yeller because I cried at the end. It's like, okay, so what? That doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> you know me, I'm cold, stone hearted Artie. I pretty much never cry. I cried during Clannad. And I think that's it. At least as far as my channel is concerned. I think Clannad might have been the only game that made me cry. I have noticed that I had to read a bunch of Newbery uh, award-winning books uh, when I was in school, and I did notice that most of the Newbery award-winning books were sad or serious in some way. 
And then there was Ramona Quimby AJ. Wow, Thunderstorm. Nice. Oh my gosh, it's like a walking castle. This is probably the big one people were talking about. See, now that's a twist. Oh my gosh. It's like Taboo from Smash Bros. Brawl. Slash Master Fortress. There was one book I had to read where it's, it, it literally seemed like I'm. It's like, wow. It, this book really just seems to be like, how much pain and suffering can we inflict on this cute kitten? I'm just like, do I have to read this, Mom? And she's like, no, I guess not. I'm like, yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's shooting fire! The fire is shooting at us! Bro, I know your horse died, but come on! Snap out of it, man. You can cry later. Ouch! Okay, you can cry from that. That looked like it hurt a lot. Also, we're tiny. How does this guy just know where we are? Oh, I'm talking purely in terms of video games. Obviously, I've seen movies and TV shows that have made me cry. I'm talking, like, in video games that I've played on my channel. Okay, this is a dangerous fight. Oh, yeah, I did... Okay. Okay. I definitely did not cry for Bambi's mother. Partly because the first time I saw Bambi, I was like 23 years old. And I absolutely knew it was coming. Also, can I just say... Bambi's mother's death? Kind of overrated. Yeah, I can imagine it would be sad if you were young, but like... Compared to a lot of the other Disney deaths, like, I don't know why that one was the one that became iconic. Especially since, like, right afterwards, it's like, oh, it's time for the happy song in the winter. I'm like, this is, uh, this is what we call dissonance. What am I doing watching bit? Because I was trying to go through and watch a lot of the Disney movies that I never actually watched as a kid, but now could as an adult. Also, the reason I never watched Bambi as a kid is because my mom refused to allow it in the house. Okay, wait, how do wait, how did I get out the first time? Also, uh, adults can watch animated movies too. Okay. Uh, gotta love the inconsistent grabbing. Um, what? He just let go of his own accord. I didn't even do anything. Um, Bambi came out in 42 or 43. I think 43. It was one of those early Disney movies. The last big movie they released, uh, for a while because of the war. Bambi did not come out when you were just a wee lad. There's no way you were alive when it came out. 
Dude, if you don't even bother getting up, you're just gonna get stun locked. Okay, how is he able to see me this well? I'm I'm an ant to him. I I can't even do anything. No matter which way I go, he just shoots me before I can get to any kind of cover. Like, look at this! This is ridiculous. Maybe I can shoot him with the bow in order to, like, throw off his aim. Worth a try, I guess. Stop shooting the pillar. Stop shooting the pillar. Okay, seriously, how the heck are you supposed to do this? There is no cover except for there, and the instant that you move, he just snipes you. And if he hits you even one time, you're like, I have to be stunned for ten seconds, so he'll hit you again, and then you just die. And the dodge roll, the- oh, okay, that just grew out of literally nowhere. Because why not? Grab on! Grab on, you butt! First off, I probably need to make a game plan. Where, which direction am I, am I even supposed Okay, well, not this way. There's no way I'm going anywhere. So he can just fire his projectiles as rapidly as he wants. Sure, why not? Really? I swear the game is, like, spawning in gorges for me to fall into. Oh, great, and now I have to... Are you kidding me? Okay, either I'm missing something big, which I probably am, or this is just a really awfully designed fight. <laughs> I'm probably just missing something big, though. It doesn't seem like there's any way of hitting him to, like, stop him from shooting at you, which is... Definitely not to my liking. Okay. Let's try this again, and this time you're not going to die. There, see? I don't know why you just decided to give up last time. Okay. Oh, no. That is not where I thought you were. Are you serious? What the heck? You can't do anything against this guy. The instant you show up, like, anywhere that's not behind a wall, he just immediately snipes you and kills you, like, instantly. This is bogus. Okay. Are we supposed to, like, climb the pillar or something? You know the definition of insanity, so maybe instead of just trying the same thing over and over again, we need to adapt our strategy and do something different. Okay, so there's a pit over here, and I can climb out of it. 
Oh wait, no, I can't. Because of course not. Why would you make these one-way tunnels? I don't really like these tunnels. They don't seem to have any real purpose. What? How in the world did you hit me from here? This guy has a sixth sense. There's there's no other explanation. There's no way he could see someone so tiny from so far away. Okay, so I need to get forward from here. The problem is, the instant I show my face, he will hit me. No! No! Not this stupid pit again that appears out of nowhere! I'm actually agreeing with Nimrod. This thing needs to die. If for some reason it's like, oh, you fell here? Well, you've got to literally backtrack for the entire world to get back. Like, why? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? The guy literally just decided to jump off a cliff of his own accord. Bruh, I'm, I'm getting tired of your crap. Okay. Well, maybe take a look at our surroundings. Let's, let's try walking around here at the bottom. Is there any other place we can go other than up? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Okay, so I can try to climb up here. The Oh, no, I can't. They literally went out of their way to design this just so you couldn't climb up it. Also, if I were to climb up it, I would just walk right into his line of fire. Like, seriously, he saw what? Like, a hair on my head? He's like, there he is! I stun him even for a little bit. Stop hitting the pillar. Oh yeah, that doesn't seem to do a lick of good. Okay, if there are small pillars, that means that they are surrounding a freaking pit. Well, I do think I need to go down the pit hits at least initially, because there doesn't seem to be any way of getting closer to him without using the uh, cave system. So we'll use this for the time being. Unfortunately, it's so stupid how he can hit you even when you're in the pits when he... There's no possible way he can see me right now. No possible way he can see me. Okay. So this allows us to get up here without taking a hit, so... We figured out the first part. Now we need to figure out how to get closer to him again without taking any hits. Because if we get hit once at this point, we're pretty much just dead. Ultimately, I need to move forward, but there is no way I can move forward. He, again, he just... Look at this. Okay, look at this. As I am moving, he is moving his fist everywhere I go, even though he cannot see me right now. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Like, the pits are all right next to each other. It's ridiculous. That pit does not take me anywhere useful either. As far as I can tell. Okay. Maybe what I can do is I can hide just behind this pillar. Just barely. 
What? How? I baited him in the other direction and he just knew where I was going to be. I was behind a pillar. You should not have been able to hit me there. How? How? There's no way of getting forward. Oh, there's a random pit in the middle of nowhere. I bet you we have to fall down that one. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a very fun fight. No. No possible. No way he was able to hit me from there. Are you guys seeing this crap right now? Hogwash. I would think that the caves would be my friend, but and in this case that they are. But the other caves just lead back to the beginning. Why would you want to go down those? Oh no. Freaking no! It's the weird tunnel that for some reason he can snipe you in, even though he cannot he should not ever be able to figure out that you're down here. You're on HP. You've got to crouch for five hours to get it back. I'm just going to mash the ARB2 button, and it's actually... <laughs> Actually, this seems to be working all right. If you mash the R2 button, you'll repeatedly crouch and uncrouch, and that'll actually boost your HP a decent bit. Or you could just hold R2, I guess. It's actually probably a better idea. Okay, there is, like, a kind of sort of a fence up there, but there's no way I'll be able to get there in time before I get shot. Hey, you can see with your eyes. Shoot at where I shoot the arrow. Oh my gosh. Why are you hitting the side? This is ridiculous. And he just chucks these as rapidly as he can, so you can't even be like, I'll lure him out, I'll lure him out of the way. And the fact that he knocks you so far backwards means you can't make any progress going forwards. This seems this pit seems to be the only place it leads to, so maybe I missed something in this pit. Is there a way for me to get past the rubble? Nope, can't grab past it even though it has visible edges. Cool. And like he's still chugging stuff at me when I'm in the tunnel. 
This is truly ridiculous. I was hoping they would save the best for the last, but they may have saved the worst for the last. Okay, what else can we do? I'm pretty sure this just leads back to... Pretty sure this just leads back to the beginning, but... Maybe... Uh, maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe this is actually a different area. And I haven't just... I just haven't explored it all. Maybe that's it. So, like, if we go through here... Is this actually a different tunnel than the one I entered in through for the first time? Because if so, I'm gonna... F I'm gonna feel like such a fool. Oh. I mean, I still don't like how they've incorporated this guy's, like, ridiculously accurate sniping skills. Okay. So that actually was the key. I swear that looked exactly the same as the place we were in initially, though. Okay, another pit. We're going in. I said we're going in! Get up! I don't care if it is realistic that he'd be on the ground for a while. I don't want realism in my games. I want fun in my games. Okay, is this like a shortcut underground area that leads inside the big guy? Here we are, now we're inside, okay. Hopefully the big climb will be fun. find a place where we can start. Alright, here we go. Who's flying an airplane right outside my window again? B bro Bro! Doesn't seem to be anything to grab onto. Really? Nothing? You're not really giving me anything to work with, game. Really not giving me anything to work with. He's playing on the back of his feet. Oh, I can't see anything. afraid to wander too far outside of this area because I'm sure he's just going to snipe me again. Why can I not grab onto this? If there's one improvement I would make to this game, it's make it clear what you can and cannot grab onto. Why can't I grab onto this? It's a very visible edge. Its response will be the. Oh no! Are you freaking telling me that I need to lure. Yeah, 
You just got me killed, Nimrod. You just freaking killed me. Um, that didn't even come close to hitting me. I don't like this fight. At all. Can I please start underneath him now? No, of course not. That would be the kind thing to do. You know, if the game was trying to be morally ambiguous on whether killing the Colossi is the right thing to do, uh, they just failed. I will be so happy when this guy dies. Admittedly, this first part is a lot simpler than I thought it was. I just thought this led back to the beginning, which... Yeah, I guess that was maybe on me. They made these areas look very similar, though. Alright, here we go. Doop 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 doop. So the res the hint he gave, his response shall be thy path. So that was just a lie. Because I tried to bait him out and make him do something, and it just sniped me as very far away from it as I could, and I died, and there was nothing I could do about it. So Nimrod, your advice sucks. Also, so does that. That seems very luck-based, whether you can even make it to that next barrier or not. Let's keep going, shall we? Alright, maybe when it zooms out again, I can get more of a clue. Okay. Hmm. Now I'm super paranoid about wandering too far away. Maybe there's something I shoot in here with my bow? No, it doesn't look like it. Nothing to climb here. This is very dumb. I go. <laughs> okay, I can't go far backwards. But 
But if I go on the outside, is there a way for me? Nope. Alright, good night, Mobius. This is, um... <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what to do here. There is no way I'm trying to bait out one of his stupid lasers again. It's like a ten minute penalty if you do that. Feels like that lip over there, right here, is the key, but I can't jump high enough to reach it, and if I get enough height, I don't get enough distance to reach it. What do you want me to do? Okay, no, that was literally a lie. Oh, look! He shot at me. That didn't do anything. It just knocked me unconscious. That was weird. Shooting it in the fist that time actually made it retaliate. Am I supposed to, like, make it hit itself? All he does is move his arm, which is way too high up. It's not doing anything at the part that actually matters. Well, yeah, I shot one of his weak points. That made him retaliate, but it didn't do anything. And I'm not just going to continually snipe at him from a distance. Can none of this be climbed? It's like, this is a game about climbing the boss. Final boss, we don't, you can't climb him. So imagine if the final boss of Metroid, it's like, no, you don't get to shoot at it. Here, you have to jump on it instead and beat it in a race. Actually, I kind of came close that time. Let's actually see if we can try it again. S okay, bro, you need to stop giving me the same crappy hint over and over again. Freaking screwed, aren't I? No, it's literally a lie hint. Its response does nothing but make your life hell. Oh, great, and now I can't get back up. Are you serious? Alright, dude, if you're gonna be cheap, I'll be cheap as well. Is he 
It's just a never-ending stream of fireballs. I literally can't do anything. back at least. Not that that helps. Um, so I, I'm completely stuck. I have literally no idea how to climb up this guy, because no surface in here is climbable, and Nimrod's hint is not only not a hint, but is literally actively trying to get me killed. So yeah, I'm completely stuck. I finally figured out how to tunnel around and get on his feet. Felt a little foolish that I didn't... Okay, why can I not grab that? Why can I not grab anything? I'm also terrified of moving too far away from this guy's foot, because then he'll just shoot at me again and probably kill me. So yeah, if you have any hints that are better than Nimrod's, I would greatly appreciate that. Oh, yay. Glitches again. I don't understand why they're like, the guy's clearly not getting on a hint. I'll just repeat the exact same hint over and over again. It's like, that's not helpful. Okay, now there's... Maybe I missed something in the cave. Ah, uh, no. Did not miss something in the cave. The fact that there's like almost no visibility here also is not great because of the fog and the storm. If I don't get a hint from Twitch chat, I'm looking up this up. Okay, these hints are not helpful. If you're telling me I have to redirect one of his attacks back at him, uh-uh, it is not happening. Because ironically, his shots will absolutely follow you everywhere you go, except if you go near his armor, because then he won't shoot at it. Well then... Oh look! It didn't work! And now I'm screwed! Great job, everybody. Appreciate it. Gotta love the inconsistency of when stuff works and when it doesn't.
Nimrod, shut your mouth. Yeah, that's how I feel, dude. Well, that was a little creepy. <laughs> Again, why can you not grab onto that? It's a very clear ledge! Oh my gosh. I should not have to just automatically know exactly what is grabbable and what's not. Like 90% of the ledges in the game, it's like, oh, this is very clearly a ledge. No, you can't grab it. This guy's hair no? <laughs> nah, you'll stick to it like syrup, man. Duh. And then there are the ledges like this, where sometimes you can grab them, and sometimes you just can't. Which is almost worse. Keep in mind, this wiki was also patently incorrect about the uh, the horse boss, so I'm already going to take it with a grain of salt, but I'll take any hints that I can get. You're joking, right? There it no, it's not easy to climb. No part of it is climbable. Are you sure you're looking at the 16th Colossus? No 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 no! You horse butt. These are the same people that made every business PowerPoint that I've ever seen, with like 18,000 graphs overlapping, and they're like, as you can see, it's real clear in this margin here that, uh, it's like, no, it's not. No, it's not. The bottom half of the clauses is easy to, no, it's not. No part of this is grabbable for no reason. Made of a special alloy that the guy just flat out refuses to grab onto. No, you know what I'm resorting to? I need a YouTube video. I'm not. I'm not doing. I'm not dealing with a stupid text wiki that's just not even right. I want to watch a video of somebody actually doing this? It's a 50 minute video? Are you
you kidding me? Nah. -uh. Five minute video. This is better. No, I don't want an ad, YouTube. Okay, let's skip through the tunnel part. Okay. What? No, I did not say skip to the next video. Okay. So what are they doing here? What? Okay, hang on a second. So, this is literally the only part that you can actually climb up. But it looks exactly the same as every single other part of the Colossus. And it's in the pitch black, so you can't even see it anyways. Alright, cool, awesome. Bad design, uh, number one. At least we can move forward now. It wasn't a Let's Player, it was a just video walkthrough. Okay. So Nimrod's, Nimrod's hint actually was nothing. Like, his hint just genuinely does not make a single bit of sense at all for the context of this beginning battle. Not, it's like it's responsible. It's not responding to anything. See, this is what I mean when I say the ledges you can grab onto should be obvious and clear that you can grab onto them, or just allow us to grab onto any ledge that is clearly a ledge. Would have saved me, and I'm sure plenty of other people play this game a lot of annoyance. Okay, well, yeah, once you find the place where you can initially grab onto, yeah, it's not too bad. Take that. Okay. Oh, that cut off the firepower to one of his arms. Can we climb up higher? Oh, oh, that's what we gotta do. Okay. You need to stop moving your hand away. Oh, and he gets his power back. Well, not for long. Bro, grab onto his hand! He moved it right there. Thank you. Now, his weak point's gonna be in his hand, right? No, it's not going to be in his hand. At least not in the palm of his hand. Oh my gosh, when if you're turned in the wrong direction on his on one of these like furry parts of the monster, like you cannot orient yourself correctly. We're not doing a lot of damage to him, but we were doing at least a little bit. No, grab on, grab on, grab on.
No! Okay, why is he not doing the jump off of the fiend into the guy's hand? Okay, when he moves his hand over. Yes, do that. Thank you. That's what I wanted you to do. Now I need you to climb off of this guy. Not that way. That's right into the fire. The other way. Okay, yes. Careful, though. We're running out of grip. Um, he's on fire. Alright, see? Th this is kind of cool. Uh-oh. No, no, no. Do not knock me off. Oh, I cannot wait to stab this guy's brains out. Man, he is getting... He's good at knocking me down, but here we go. Oh, you're not so tough when you can't shoot your super cheap magic fire orbs that home in on me and only me and knock me into pits of rapid fire, are you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, take that. You know, if you could stop sh Okay, this guy should not be shaking me off. Uh, he's barely moving his head at all, but my- Oh no! He's moving his head a tiny bit. One more stab will do it. Oh, I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. You deserve it, bro. You absolutely deserve it. So, the question is, is that the end of the game, or is there going to be another fate after this?